Collection systems are a hot topic these days. Why? Because there are two major issues associated with collection systems, odor and corrosion. With growth in population, each year there are more and more odor complaints. Hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, is the leading cause of odors related to municipal sewage. Corrosion, it's expensive. National Sewer Rehabilitation estimates the cost of corrosion related to hydrogen sulfide at $6 billion a year. Some of the worst cases of odor and corrosion are contributed to high sulfate concentrations, high strength wastewater, lots of debris building up in the collection system, warmer seasonal temperatures, and long hydraulic retention time. There are several factors which impact odor and corrosion contributors. For example, population increases mean that there's more sewage to treat. Building new infrastructure for long-term needs means large pipes and small flows. This creates long hydraulic retention times, giving the sewage more time in pipe for sulfide production. What's your conservation agendas and a trend toward a greater water conservation are catching on. However, with the less dilution of sewage, it is more concentrated and enters the collection system at a higher strength and higher BOD levels. Factor in that the U.S. is trending toward less combined sewers and efforts to reduce inflow and infiltration, and you can see that there's also a trend toward more concentrated wastewater in our collection systems. Pipe Biology under anaerobic conditions in the collection system. Bacteria in the pipe slime layer use up the oxygen and the sulfates, creating sulfides. Then those sulfides are converted to hydrogen sulfide, or H2S. H2S is emitted from the water and makes its way into the biofilm in the pipe crown area. Sulfur oxidizing bacteria convert H2S to sulfuric acid the cycle starts all over again. A common method of treatment is to add chemicals to the collection system. Chemicals work in three general ways. Oxidation provides an alternate electron acceptor for sulfate reducing bacteria. One example is nitrates. In their presence, existing bacteria oxidize dissolved sulfides. It's not always the answer because it may increase the cost of denitrification in the treatment process. Precipitation works by precipitating out dissolved sulfides. One example is iron salts. It's not always the answer because they can increase the solids loading into the treatment process and can interfere with UV transmittance. pH control works by adjusting the pH to favor non-volatile sulfide species in their ionic forms. Some caustics are hazardous materials. In addition, when the pH returns to near neutral, H2S sulfide species will form. Chemicals which are used for odor or corrosion control must be continuously injected into a collection system. But what other options are available? How do I cut out chemicals? Collection system oxygenation prevents odor and corrosion by promoting a layer of aerobic bacteria on the pipe wall and in the wastewater. Oxygenation offers a non-toxic, chemical-free form of odor and corrosion control. Dissolved oxygen can be easily created and residual maintained. Since oxygen can be generated on site, there is no requirement for continuous deliveries as is required with chemical treatment. Oxygen. Breaking the chemical dependency.